What's up guys, this is Coach Corby from NextLevelBasketball.com and today I wanted to talk to you guys about one of the most common shooting mistakes I see even when I'm training some of my high level college and pro players. Now the two-handed shot is one of the most common shooting mistakes. It's also one of the most difficult to correct. The reason some players need to shoot the ball with two hands is because when they're younger they lack the strength and the power to reach the basket when they're shooting from far away so they need to push the ball with two hands when they shoot. Now if when you shoot the basketball your guide hand opens up like this at any point or if you flip the ball with the thumb on your guide hand you have a two-handed shot. Some players like Kyrie Irving or Austin Rivers can be successful when they shoot like this but in general it's much harder to be consistent if you have a two-handed shot like this. Now in order to fix the problem you have to do a couple things. You have to strengthen your shooting hand and kind of train your mind to not need to open up your guide hand and push the ball like this or like this when you shoot the ball. Now you have to do this away from the basket. It's impossible to fix your shot if you're just shooting jump shots or shooting three-pointers and trying to make a change like this. You have to work on it with your partner shooting or by shooting up to yourself or with form shooting before you can progress to jump shots. Now the, the drill I'm about to show you guys might seem a little bit boring but even Michael Jordan did a very similar drill to kind of uh, develop his shooting form. Shoot the ball up to yourself trying not to let the ball drift left, right, forward, or backward. The ball should go straight up and straight down every time. Do this without your guide hand 35 to 50 times, then add your guide hand and do it another 35 to 50 times, making sure to remind yourself never to open up your guide hand. If you've never done this drill before, your wrist will start to burn and feel fatigued. This is okay because this drill will help strengthen your wrist snap for better range. You're also teaching yourself not to need your guide hand for power. Just take it and finish it. What I used to do is I try to shoot it straight up and catch it right on my nose. And as you can see, the finish and everything, the backspin is perfect. You're shooting it off of these three fingers. Now, if you're using these two fingers, the ball is going to start to go left or right, and it's not going to end up on your nose. It's probably going to end up on your ear or miss your head to the left. And these are the thoughts that you should work on, just trying to enhance your correct follow through in your correct form as a shooter. They work for me. They may not work for you, but at least give it a try. Next thing you know, you'll be a better free throw shooter. A good practice. Notice how Clay Thompson's guide hand never opens up. This is an example of a correct guide hand. He is able to generate proper power with his legs and shooting arm working together. In the second picture, Joachim Noah shows us an example of an incorrect guide hand that opens up towards the basket providing extra power, but causing him to be inaccurate. Once you are done shooting up to yourself, it's time to try and translate the same form into your form shooting. Start from 5 feet away and make 50 shots without your guide hand and then make 50 shots with your guide hand making sure never to push the ball with your guide hand or the thumb of your guide hand. Once you master this from 5 feet away you can slowly move back to 7 feet, 10 feet, 12 feet and beyond. Now if you can make 70% or more of your threes in practice situations with nobody guarding you and you can make 38% or more of your threes in, in the game, you probably don't need to change your shot too much uh, because you're already a good shooter. But if you're beneath the 70% in practice situations or you're beneath the 38% in games, uh, you're probably going to need to do something to fix, the, to fix your shot. Now guys, it's important to remember whenever you're fixing your form or kind of trying to rebuild your shot. You might get worse temporarily, but it's important to kind of fight through those growing pains so you can eventually get better and become a better shooter in the long run. 
Thanks for watching guys. Remember to subscribe for more tips and drills on how to improve your shooting. And if you're a serious basketball player, make sure to check out nextlevelbasketball.com. Um, there I have my beginner and advanced uh, skill development programs that you can try out free for seven days.